Hello everyone, today we will learn how to send Twilio SMS messages for new Salesforce contacts. Now Salesforce is a CRM application and you generally create leads, deals and contacts in that account. But what if, if you want that every time you create a new contact in Salesforce, you want that a confirmation SMS should be sent to that contact through Twilio. But this cannot happen automatically because both of these applications do not have a direct connection between them. But what if I tell you we can actually automate this process with the help of Fably Connect. We will create such an integration where our trigger will be a new contact created in your Salesforce and our action will be an SMS sent through Twilio. Let us learn how to do it. So today in this video, I will tell you how can you send Twilio SMS for new Salesforce contacts. Now this is my Salesforce account and I will be adding a new contact over here by clicking on contacts. And then this is my Twilio account. Now Twilio account has already been made and Salesforce account is also ready. We will be doing this integration with the help of Pabli. So this is the landing page of Pabli and on the right hand side you can see two options available sign up for free and sign in. If you don't have an existing account you have to click on sign up for free. But since I'm having one already I will click on sign in which will take me to the login page. I will click on sign in with Google and I will be directly logged in into Pabli. Here are the five applications that Pabli provides. Now, because we are going to integrate or we can say in a simpler language that we're going to connect two applications, we will be using Pabli Connect for that purpose. Click on access now and then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will be able to see a big blue button on the right side where it's written create workflow. Click on that button and then give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as send Twilio SMS for new Salesforce contacts. This is the name I've given. Click on create and a blank workflow will be created for you. Now when you reach here, you can see two boxes. On one it's written trigger and on the other it's written action. Now what is this trigger and what is action? Trigger is when this happens. Action is do this. Which means there is going to be an event that will take place in your trigger application, whichever application you're going to choose over here. And when that event takes place, this workflow will proceed in the direction of the action application or the next step. And that assigned action will be performed in the application that you will be choosing over here. So our trigger application today is Salesforce. Why Salesforce? Because until and unless a new contact is added in your Salesforce account, there will be no SMS being sent through Twilio and our trigger event will be new contact. That is very obvious for us. Now we will click on connect because until and unless we connect both the accounts are Salesforce and Pabli Connect, how is Pabli Connect going to fetch the information of a new contact being added in Salesforce? So we will click on add new connection and then connect with Salesforce and give access by clicking on allow over here. And then the authorization is successful. See the same button now says connected. Now remember that when you will click on save and send test request, you have to go back to your Salesforce and create a contact over here by clicking on this button new. So we'll go back and click on save and send test request. So click on new and then add the details of the contact. If you want to add any salutation, for example, Mr. Any title you want to give to that contact, birth date, you can add the birth date. How did you get the contact? What was the source of the contact? So you can add web, phone inquiry or whatever place you got the contact from. And then you can add the phone number. Obviously, that is very necessary because you're creating a contact phone number. Now you have to enter the email address of this person. So what is going to be the email address? Enter the email address and yes. So the there are many details that you have to fill, but all of them are not very necessary. For example, maybe you do not need the address information of this particular contact. So we will just add the important details like the name of the person, the birth date, the lead source, the phone number and the email address over here. Now we will click on save. So a new contact will be created. See, Mr. Sam George is the new contact that we have created. Now we will go back to Pabli Connect to check that is there any response that is received and yes, we have received a response over here. These are the details. Mr. Sam George is the name of the person. It's from phone inquiry. The date when this contact was created. The last and first name are separated. The email address and the phone number. All the details have been recorded over here. 
so which means that our trigger application has worked successfully now we will close this window and move forward to our next application that is going to be our destination twilio choose your action application as twilio and then the action event is going to be send sms message which says send an sms message to a specified number okay so whenever a new contact will be added over here this number this particular message will be sent to that number of the contact so we will connect and then click on add new connection now this is a very important step over here so please pay a little more attention you have to fill in certain credentials over here in order to connect your twilio and pably connect so all these information that you are going to retrieve are from twilio only when you go to your account scroll down and see you will find the account info over here in your account info you will see account sid authorization token and your twilio phone number is given over here now all these details are unique for your specific case so we will copy the sid from here paste it here in pably connect and we have to paste sid at two places in the same page okay now we need the authorization token so go back and copy this token from here and then again paste it over here now click on save and see the connection has been established now you have to enter certain more details that what are the description or what is the message that you want to frame so you have to enter the body of the sms like what is the content of the message the sender number and the recipient number because you are sending this message through an application which is normally sent through an a mobile number so you are going to enter the sender number as well like from which number this sms is going to be received and then where this sms has to be sent so first we will write the body of the message so this is a new contact added to sales force okay full stop and then you can map the name of the person so mr and give a little space and then enter the name okay this is the detail that you have added over here now you have to enter the sender number sender is you through your twilio account so see what's written over here the approved sending number in your twilio account for example this is the number so this is just an example when you go back to your twilio account you see this is a phone number given to you so copy this from here and then paste it in your sender's number so every time a new contact is added in salesforce an sms will be sent that this is a new contact added to salesforce and then the name of that particular person whosoever contact is added recently and then the message will be sent through this number now what is the number to which it will be sent so you will just put your id because you did not mention id while entering the phone number in the contact list so what you will do is write plus 91 because this is my country code you have to enter over here your country code and then map the contact number of that particular person like i am going to map it right here okay and i will click on save and send test request and see we have received the response sent from your twilio trial account this is a contact added to salesforce mr sam george okay now this is done the date has been updated from this number to this number and then the date when this was created which means that our workflow has successfully worked till now okay so which means that whenever a new contact will be added in your salesforce that was our trigger application we connected the accounts we created a contact over here and then we clicked on save and send test request so we received this information further what we did was our action application was twilio where we connected the connection was a very important step we connected the account through the sid and the authorization token and then we created the body of the sms there was the sender number and a recipient number as well the recipient number is the number of that contact that was created in salesforce clicked on save and send test request and this response was received so this was the whole workflow i hope this helps
Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.